What is your name? Brady North. What's your role? Uh, engineer, mostly. What team are you a member of this year? Killer Ducks. How long have you been involved with FIRST programs? Five years. Did you do anything before FTC? Uh, FLL. What encouraged you to become involved with FTC or other FIRST programs? Uh, it's an opportunity to apply what you've learned in school and get hands-on with uh, some robot parts. You mentioned that you are primarily an engineer for the Killer Ducks. What kind of pushed you into going the engineering route? Um, mainly figuring stuff out. I like to problem solve and uh, given first puzzles that they provide during the games, it's fun to try to find the best way to solve those. You mentioned that you went more of the engineering route with the Killer Ducks. What kind of pushed you into that route? Um, I like problem solving. So when FIRST gives us our games, it's fun to try to figure out how to do the best you can with the parts that you have. Um, and it's fun to uh, find different solutions. Do you ever plan to use the assets and the skills and experience that you've gained through FIRST programs in the future? Oh yeah. I plan to be an engineer and the skills uh, and uh, abilities I've gained from FIRST will definitely be applicable to the future. Would you recommend FIRST and its programs to anybody else? Oh yeah. It's awesome. <laughs>
interacting with people that are older, that have more experience, you need to have respect for them. Ready? What's your name? My name is Jason Kalino. What is your role on your FTC team this year? Well, I happen to help get funds. I basically do what anyone else tells me to do, and I'll just help where help the help is needed. What team are you a member of this year? 10069 Autonomous Anonymous. How long have you been involved with FIRST programs? Well, um, I did FIRST Lego League in 7th and 8th grade, and then I skipped freshman year for FTC, and then I started FTC this year. What encouraged you to become involved with FTC or the FIRST programs? Not much. I like robots. You said you kind of do more of the business and career kind of service things where you're not really any specific area, you kind of just do whatever other people tell you to do. What kind of pushed you more in that direction as opposed to in like engineering or programming? Well, that's what was needed, so I just helped out. Do you plan to use the skills and experience you've gained throughout FIRST and FTC uh, in your future, such as any kind of business or career opportunity? No, nah, I plan on going into welding and we don't use that, so. What's your name? Well, I'm Sean Woodman. <laughs> What's your role in the FTC team? Everything. Except uh, programming. What uh, team are you a member of this year? Uh, 1-0-6-9. Uh, was my second year on that team. How long have you been involved with FIRST programs? Uh, it'd be like, it's probably like my sixth or seventh year. What encouraged you to become involved with FTC or other FIRST programs? I got bored. You said that you've been in for maybe six or seven years now. What did you do before you did FTC? Uh, Lego League for four years. I think. I don't know. It's been a long time. And you said you kind of did more of... You did kind of everything? In what regards? Like, what do you spend most of your time on? Uh, I spend most of my time tinkering with robot, but I'm... I try to stay involved with everything else as much as I can, like uh, anything with the uh, engineering notebook. Uh, the I try to keep up with the programming. That's a little of my head, though. I don't entirely understand it. And I try to keep up with the business as much as I can. Do you plan to use the skills and experience you've gained through first programs in the future, such as any kind of business or career opportunities? Yes, uh, I plan on. Going to college, if I can, you know, make it. Uh, I want to go to get, uh, hopefully, a master's in engineering. and uh, I want to major in uh, engineering and minor in business. What's your name? Alexander Christie. What is your role in your FTC team this year? Uh, I am the head autonomous programmer. What is your team that you're a member of this year? Uh, 10069, Autonomous Anonymous. However, I lend a hand over to the younger team, the Killer Ducks. How long have you been involved with FIRST programs? I'm, I started back in about 6th grade with FLL, first, first Lego League, so that's about 5 or 6 years now. What encouraged you to become involved with FTC or the FIRST programs? It was just robotics. It sounded fun to be able to play with robots, be able to mess around with it, so I just joined it because it sounded fun. And you said you kind of do more of the programming side of things. What kind of pushed you more into going into programming as opposed to in like the engineering side of things or the business or whatever? No one else would do it. I was I came in first year and no one knew how to program autonomous, so I said, hey, this sounds fun and easy, I'll try it. Six weeks later, yeah, I am now stuck with it. <laughs> what would you say is your biggest challenge in FTC? Um, my biggest challenge probably is learning how to do sensors and just programming in general because no one out there knows how to program with blocks or my programming language. So I searched through 60 pages of Google every day just trying to find something to help me. Do you find the use of skills and experience you've gained throughout FTC in the future in any kind of career or business opportunity? I hope. I've spent so much time learning how to program a computer, learn how it communicates. I hope I get to go on with my life and learn how to do this more. What is your name? Connor Mast. What is your role on the FTC team? Uh, partial PR and I'm a little bit of an engineer. What uh, team are you a member of this year? Thomas and Angus. How long have you been involved in FIRST programs? One year. Mr. First year? Yeah. What encouraged you to become involved with FTC or the FIRST programs? 
Uh, it just looked like a lot of fun. I like I wanted to learn code, and uh, it looked fun to build a robot. You said that you kind of got involved with more of the engineering aspect of things, some of the uh, PR stuff. What kind of pushed you into that direction with more of engineering and PR over something like programming? Um, programming looked not as fun. Uh, actually building the robot, so you could like kind of take the credit for like, yeah, that's my robot, and then the programmers kind of went a lot less recognized, and although that is still like a major aspect, I just like the thought of uh, actually building the robot. Do you plan to use any of the skills and experience you've learned and, and uh, gained through any first programs in your future? Uh, definitely. Uh, I worked in construction over the summer, so it definitely helps with uh, knowing what tools to use and uh, all the different aspects of that. Do you ever plan to like go into anything like as a career or business opportunity in your future, like as an adult after high school? Do you ever plan to use anything you learned in engineering or anything or public or uh, public relations? Yeah, uh, public relations. I think it's getting like more important the farther along in society we get. It's getting a lot more advanced, and uh, I think it'll be very important in the future. Introduce yourselves. So I'm Ben Waltersdorf, and I'm Jack Kelly. What's your ranks? Uh, I guess you could call me an engineer. What's what's your rank? I'd probably be an engineer too, and I'm also a, like graphic designer for the team, help oh. with the advertising. Oh, cool, cool marketing. Um, so what are your affiliations? What team are you on? Uh, I'm on Autonomous Anonymous or one zero zero six nine. I'm on you? Autonomous Anonymous as well. Okay. Um, how long have you been involved in first programs? Uh, and what's your role on your FTC team? Uh, well, I just started this year, and like I said, I'm kind of an engineer. Yeah. This is my third year. I did uh, First Lego League for two years, and then this is my first year doing FTC, and I've primarily been the builder on both teams. So what encouraged you to become involved with FTC or other first programs? Uh, I guess just kind of my friends being involved and trying it out. And you? Um... Also, my friends being involved and in also just wanting to learn how to build and program robots. So, let me guess. You guys were each other's friend and you went in because the other one went in. You could almost kind of say that, I guess. Yeah. Uh, do you plan to use the skills and experience you've gained through first programs in the future, business, and careers? Uh, I definitely do. I feel like I've already used them and they've already helped me out. And you? Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be like my primary occupation, but I feel like the skills that you gain from participating at first can carry on throughout your whole life. Hey, uh, what's your name? I'm Zachary Delfs. Uh, what does you do for uh, FTC? I'm kind of more of our business and media manager overall. I do more of our media kind of things, but every now and then I dabble in business when I can. All right. What team are you on this year? I'm a member of 10069 Autonomous Anonymous. However, because of the nature of what we do, uh, as far as media and business go, since it all kind of pulls together, I'm kind of more interchangeable between the Killer Ducks and the Thomas Anonymous. Uh, how long have you been involved in the first programs? Uh, I'm going on almost my seventh year now. I started doing first legally in uh, fifth grade. And then I did uh, first tech challenge all three years. It's been off at the Carnegie Center. So that's almost seven years now, I think. All right. What encouraged you to become involved uh, in these programs? It was more of the fact that I'm kind of, I like problem solving and messing around with different things. And uh, Mr. Gingery, our coach, he kind of offered me, he said, this is kind of a new thing. He said, why don't you go ahead and try this? You don't really, there's not really anything else for you. You don't really do a whole lot of sports, so go ahead and try this. And I did my first year, and I quite liked it. You said you were in the business aspect of this program, correct? What made you want to make that your primary? It was more of the fact that nobody else really did it. And it was also, I had kind of an interest in money and finance, and eventually it just kind of started growing on me, and I started getting more uh, accustomed to it. And as far as media goes, I've always had an interest in recording and editing uh, video and audio. And over time, it just kind of became uh, one of my favorite things to do, kind of almost as a hobby. All right. What are some of the biggest challenges you face in the FTC program? Probably one of my largest ones is either my time management, uh, because I'm a high school student, I have my other classes I have to worry about, I have to worry about college courses, I have to worry about other activities I'm involved in, such as band or, or uh, act deck. But it's also just trying to work together with people I don't normally work with. People that I don't necessarily get along with, but I have to in some way to perform so we can get the job done. That's ultimately one of the biggest challenges I'll, 
I face in FTC. I think anybody really faces in the program. Eric, do you plan to use any of the skills and experiences you've acquired through working in the FTC programs in your future? Uh, not really pertaining directly to media or business management, but more of the fact that working with different people and having to overcome certain obstacles to work with a certain set of people and to uh, achieve certain goals, that's ultimately, that's going to be something I'm going to use no matter what I go into. I've been looking at going into either audiovisual technologies or into education for a number of years now. So I'm considering going into one of those later on, which audiovisual technologies I would be using my experience in FTC doing media management extensively. Do you have anything else to add? Not really, just make sure if you do go off for a program like this, you have fun and you are ready for the challenges you're going to face.